Have you ever noticed the rings left behind when you spill coffee? The same effect also happens when you spill wine. This is known as the coffee ring effect and it's studied by scientists worldwide. So what causes this effect? Let's look at a drop of coffee from the side. Small particles inside the coffee are floating around. When the water inside of a coffee spill starts to evaporate, the drop gets smaller and smaller. But there's a drag on the surface area. These two factors cause the flow of water towards the edge to replenish the evaporated water. This flow drags the tiny coffee particles toward the edge and form a ring. Water molecules have a cohesive force, they want to stick together. But the molecules on the surface, however, don't have any water molecules to attach to, just air. This causes what is known as surface tension. It is almost like there is a thin elastic layer on top of the water. Small particles have the tendency to stick to this surface layer. So why doesn't this happen to coffee particles? The reason is that coffee particles are almost perfect spheres. This means there is almost no surface touching the water-air boundary. They don't get stuck and they flow towards the edge to form a ring. Scientists have studied and experimented with other particle shapes and it turns out that even a small change is enough to stop rings from forming. When they use ellipsoids, elongated particles, the particles spread out evenly. These particles stick to the water-to-air surface and they don't get pulled towards the edge. So why are scientists interested in coffee rings? Well, imagine you are painting a wall. Do you want to see all the rings when the paint dries? Of course not! To make good paint you have to understand the physics behind the coffee ring effect. So, what else can we do to water and the surface tension? The following experiment slash magic trick is one you can and should try at home. First we take a plate and we fill it with some ordinary water. Next we spread some freshly ground pepper on top of the water. The pepper doesn't dissolve and it repels water, so it floats on top of the water surface. If we push our finger into the water, nothing happens. But what happens when we shout, YOU SHALL NOT PASS! Ta -da! So how does this work? Well, the first time I put my finger into the water, I just pushed down on the water surface and nothing happened. But the second time, I added a little bit of liquid soap to my fingertip. The soap is a surfactant and interacts with the water. This causes a breakdown of the surface tension and it's just like popping a balloon. The surface pops and the pepper flakes fly towards the edge. Please do try this at home. And now you know.